Oh wonder, how many goodly creatures are there here? How beauteous mankind is. Oh brave new world, there's such people in it. My name's Francesca and I'm the producer on Shakespeare in Shoreditch, a festival which reconnects the Shoreditch where the young Shakespeare lived and worked with its modern day counterpart. The South Bank has the Globe and Stratford-upon-Avon has the RSC, so what about Shoreditch? Arts can be very um, exclusive and you could think that it's not about you or for you and the important thing for this community is to be able to, to, to change that idea and to make them think and to let them believe that art is accessible to them and they could be an artist. The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as a gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It swiceth bless. It blesseth him that gives and him that takes. Uh, it's really nice seeing the Shakespeare and Shoreditch project coming through in terms of just looking at its the kind of the history of the area, which is just so rich, as you know from the from the project that's going on, both from the the Shakespearean side and the naming of the estates that uh, that are named after Shakespeare, and just adding into that offer and making people aware of the history of the area and the change in the area, but also being able to participate in it is uh, is really important to us. If we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. Over 400 years ago, back in the 1580s, Elizabethan Shoreditch was a shanty town of barns and cottages scattered around fields and gardens of a dissolved monastery. It was here, beyond the city walls, that James Burbage, a local carpenter, built one of the first purpose-built theatres in London. And it was the theatre, built in 1576, and another theatre, the Curtain, built a year later, that led to the area becoming a centre for writers and actors, the bohemian haunt of Elizabethan London. Later, in the 1590s, it is thought that both Romeo and Juliet and Henry V had their first performances at the Curtain. What storm is this that blows so contrary? Is Romeo slaughter red and Tybalt dead? My dear, loved cousin and dearer lord? The dreadful trumpets sound the general doom. For who is living if those two were gone? I'm Felix and this is Josh and together we are Rift. And in the shop behind us, in 2012, we produced a six-month version of The Tempest. Each month we'd invite audience members to come and visit us in the shop and we'd create a different immersive environment for them, from a dive bar to a supercomputer to a hotel lobby. It was an ever-changing installation. Over this period, um, Members of the community, local interested groups, uh, community organisations would come and visit us. And one day, one of them told us that they lived in Caliban Tower. This was an absolute revelation for us because we were doing a production of Tempest. Of course, the main, one of the main characters is Caliban. Um, and so we visited the Arden Estate, behind, which is actually behind our shop, and saw that all of the roads, houses, buildings had, were named after Shakespeare characters. This inspired us. And since then, we've been looking for a way that we can reconnect this part of London with its Shakespearean heritage, and we really believe that this project, Shakespearean Shoreditch, is going to do that. Be not to fear the hours full of noises, sounds and sweet airs that give delight and hurt not. Sometimes a thousand twangling instruments will hum about mine ears, and sometimes voices that, if I then had waked after long sleep, will make me sleep again. And then, in dreaming, the clouds, me thought, would open and show riches, ready to drop upon me. But when I waked, I cried to dream again. This will prove a great kingdom to me, for I shall have my music for nothing. When Prospero is destroyed. Yes.